break. Yeah, Lunin in goal, and then and really you have between, you know, Militao, Nacho, Vasquez, Mendy, and then that midfield, you know, the midfield where Kamavinga was. Well, there's another big arrival who has Dortmund in his past on the AC Milan side, and that's Christian Pulisic. A lot of eyes on him, particularly here in Southern California. He plays from the start after his $20 million move from Chelsea. Three years he spent on roll with AC Milan. Raheem, 91 appearances in Serie A, but he, he admitted he's never stopped thinking about a time where he might return to Real Madrid. So he originally belonged to Manchester City. Madrid signed him in 2019. Picked up the edge of the area. Could have made an early name for himself. Lorenzo Colombo, the 21-year-old, did the starting role tonight. He really caught hold of this, Casey. Yeah, it's good work again, pressing from Milan. And in between Mendy and Gomavinga, possessions gifted to Colombo from the top. He has uh, recovered. Didn't, didn't see the incident, Casey, but I'm sure it was an alarming one. Uh, we've been told definitive terms that he is okay who's working on the sideline pre-game we know that Tony Cruz it's Real Madrid trying to go back there. this is again to Bellingham lovely cut and Bellingham asking for a handball Timothy Ford a perfectly good view of it waving aside those appeals Camavinga to Cruz from distance. It's a couple of efforts that have whistled just past Sportiello's near post. Again, really good combination. Bellingham comes through. I thought right there he had an opportunity to cut it to Camavinga. The deadlock. Pulisic feeding it in, and it's AC Milan who have broken the deadlock. Fantastic corner, and a thumping header from close range from Tomori. Now the Rossoneri fans may be outnumbered here, and it's they who are making the noise in the Rose Bowl. Yeah, just really good service into the box. Maybe a little bit of a question on Lunin with the ball coming that much into the six-yard box that maybe he could come out and help his defense, but it's really poor marking from Real Madrid. And Tamori couldn't believe that he was that wide open four yards out. And Christian Pulisic gets the assist as well with a perfectly placed corner. Looks to to come back inside. Collision with Kamavinga, a little high five between the two, just saying no ill intent. Run off the ball and into space, the cross in. Put a pinball inside the penalty area from under. Lacks clearance though by the AC Milan team. is punished in some style, and it's Luca Romero. The bench and into the headlines. What a hit from Romero! And it's the Rossoneri who double their advantage here. No, I agree, Adrian. With you. you said it was just a loose clearance that was won back very well, and and then it bounces. Like it's just unnecessary, but it's it's well won. And as it comes back inside, it bounces nicely and. It's, it's preseason for goalkeepers as well, and Lunin never really got his angle properly positioned, and Luca Romero punished him at that near post. A young man who scored a grand total of one Serie A goal in his career thus far, Valencio. who uh, 
managed 423 games for tonight's opponents. AC Milan, he was there eight years. And seeing his team trying to come oh, back. No. Oh, and it's a gift. Well, Valverde will take the credit, but it's Sportiello who will take the blame. And this crowd at the Rose Bowl coming to life. Yeah, Rodrigo finds Valverde, and he just, he just kind of tops this shot. And, I mean, does it take a, a slight deflection? Yes. But still, Sportiello just makes the mistake and pays the price. Oh, who would ever want to be a goalkeeper, Who Adrian? would want to be a goalkeeper, Casey? Yeah. A really nice save yeah. against Rodrigo that if that had gone in, nobody would have thought twice about it. But then the shot from distance fools you and you become the fool. Off now and Valverde's at it again! Well, absolutely nothing Sportiello could do about this one. Federico Valverde pouncing on the loose ball and pounding it home. And in the space of two minutes, Real Madrid are level. Well, it was AC Milan that capitalized off of Real Madrid's mistakes in the first half and to start this second half it's Real Madrid's opportunity to capitalize off of the AC Milan mistakes and Valverde punishes comfortably as he smashes the ball home from the top of the 18. And a look of uh... Pure bewilderment for Stefano Pioli. What just happened seemed to be written up. Danny's. Yeah, Salomon just did a really good job of just recognizing that it was coming. The tackle was coming and needed to get his body between the man and the ball and won the free kick for his side. Because if if he doesn't get that right, Fran Garcia is off to the races. Rafael Leal tackled definitively now. Vinny Jr. trying to add an exclamation point. Vinny Jr. It's what they came to see tonight. And Vinny Jr. so rarely disappoints. And Real Madrid have come all the way back from 2 0 down to 3 2 up. This is how it happened. Yeah, it's a good challenge. Leo makes a good run. Valverde, and then what an unbelievable recognition and pass from Luka Modric. Care has to respect the pace of Vinny Jr. Doesn't see him behind him, sneaks in behind and then has the composure to just pass it past Mignon and Real Madrid take the lead. What a what a change the second half has been for Real Madrid.